is Jennifer. Hi, how can I help? What is today's date? It is Thursday, the 29th of June, 2017. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, how can I help? What is the time now? The time is 12.10 a.m. Hi and hello guys. Uh, today in this video, we'll see as to how you can uh, get a voice activated Google Assistant up and running in your uh, Windows 10 PC. So uh, with this method, uh, what will actually happen is once you pronounce the wake word, you will also get a uh, response from the Google Assistant and then you can start your actual interaction. Okay, so to install the Google Assistant, of course, you need the uh, Python. You can uh, download the latest version of Python. Say if you download the Windows uh, x86-64 version, it will cater to both the 32-bit uh, Windows 10 and uh, the 64-bit uh, Windows 10, both, both of them. So I have already downloaded. So run the uh, Python installation. So there are some customizations that you need to do while installing Python. So first and foremost, choose add uh, Python 3.6 to path and then choose customize install. So this is because the usual path will be in the uh, users folder. So we need to change it to C program files or C program files x86. So for that, choose customize install. Make sure that all of them are selected over here. Choose uh, next and then select uh, install for all users. So this will automatically change the Python default folder to program files. Okay. So and then choose install. I will uh, leave the download links uh, for the Python in the description of this video. So as the installation is just going on, open system and then choose advanced system settings and then choose environment variables. So under uh, system variables, choose new. The variable name will be Python underscore home and the variable value will be the path to your python file so it will be c program files if you are uh, running a 64 bit uh, os or it will be c program files x86 if you are running a 32 bit os you just scroll down until you reach python 36 so this will be the uh, default directory copy this path let this uh, directory remain open so you need that for uh, creating another uh, environment variable so paste it over here choose ok and then just scroll until you get to the uh, variable called path double click and open that and then open the uh, python 36 directory and then open the directory called scripts copy this path and choose new in the uh, edit environment variable dialog box and then paste it over here if you have any old uh, python uh, variables please remove that choose ok choose ok choose ok so the python installation has completed choose close and you can close this control panel as well so now proceed on to this uh, web page over here i will leave the uh, links in the description of this video so first line is to install the uh, google assistant sdk copy that run command prompt as administrator choose yes the pip is already installed with the latest version of python so you need not uh, install it separately just execute this command and as this process is going on you need to download the uh, configuration file from the developers console download it to some folder within your pc so i have already gone through the procedure of uh, creating a configuration file in uh, previous videos for raspberry pi so it is very easy i will leave the uh, documentation uh, links in the description of this video so once the first uh, process is done copy paste the second command and then this authentication command so over here so you need to change the path and your uh, configuration file name so assign the path where you have downloaded uh, your configuration file in my case it is a uh, d So now you will get a link, copy this link
paste it in your browser and then you need to authenticate uh, in email account and choose allow so after that you will get a token copy the token and paste it over here and press enter the common mistake that people do over here is they immediately go on and uh, try and uh, run the uh, google assistant push to talk so before proceeding on to that you need to again upgrade your google assistant after running the authentication so again run the pip install upgrade google assistant sdk samples command okay so now uh, it is done you can run the uh, google samples so the google assistant is now up and running the next step is to add the uh, voice activation so in order to enable the uh, voice activation you require a set of files so one is the uh, visual basic file uh, it contains some scripts uh, which i have uh, developed for voice activation and for generating the response so there is an mp3 file called the response so this will play as soon as it detects the wake word and then of course a uh, software called voice macro this is for executing certain commands when a uh, speech is detected so i will leave the download links for a uh, voice macro in the description of this video this is really a very uh, good uh, software i will leave the download links in the description of this video so unzip the voice macro software so before you start anything you need to edit the visual basic script so as it is uh, the visual basic script has been uh, designed for my system so in order to edit it for your system uh, right click and choose open with and then wordpad okay so you have a line called uh, oplayer.url so this should contain the path for the response file copy the path for the response file and paste it in the line that says oplayer.url and there is a second path which you need to change which is called the uh, wsh shell.app activate so this path uh, is for the google samples assistant push to talk so open the uh, python directory and move into the uh, scripts folder and then copy the path file for uh, this file which is called google samples assistant push to talk.exe paste it over here close and then choose save so at this point if you have any previously opened uh, command prompt uh, windows for the push to talk you can close them now you can run the google assistant by executing the google samples assistant or uh, push to talk.exe so double click that and now you should have your google assistant up and running and the last step in the voice activation is customizing the macro so open the voice macro and then uh, run the exe file first it will uh, prompt you to load the demonstration file or demonstration profile choose no choose edit and against the profile choose add name a profile say something like google assistant and then choose okay under the macros you find an option called uh, add new click on the add new give a voice command so whatever you want you can have the voice activation as hey google or uh, hey something or whatever you want so let me for example say call it hey jennifer google assistant is a female voice so i am giving it a name called uh, jennifer and then under actions choose other and then choose execute or open a file click on the browse button over here and choose your visual basic script it is gassist.vbs open that and then choose okay and then okay choose save and now you should have your google assistant profile up and running okay so let us go ahead and test it out so first time for running the voice macro you need to toggle the uh, listen button over here you will have a uh, notification called listening activated okay and now uh, you can start interacting with your google assistant 
Hey Jennifer. Hi, how can I help? What is today's date? It is Thursday, the 29th of June 2017. Hey Jennifer. Hi, how can I help? What is the time now? The time is 12:10 a.m. Hey Jennifer. Hi, how can I help? How is the weather now? In Waterford it's 13 degrees Celsius and cloudy. Today there will be showers with a forecast high of 17 and a low of 11. Hey Jennifer. Hi, how can I help? What is on my calendar for Friday? Tomorrow there's only one thing. It starts at 8 a.m. and the title is run. So the last step here is to run the Google Assistant on boot. So to do that open run that is by pressing a windows button and r and then type shell startup over here right click and choose new shortcut choose browse and scroll to the folder where you have your uh, python 36 scripts and then choose google samples assistant push to talk dot exe choose okay next give it a name choose finish right click on the three bars over here and choose startup settings choose start with windows and then choose start minimize so now you will have your voice activated google assistant up and running on boot okay so that is pretty much it guys so i hope that you find this video useful and informative Thank you.